all of this stuff. We can't trust the, the government to, to rule over us. We see what they're coming down with, major mandates and whatever else, and declarations and austerity measures. So we can't trust anything that, that this, this oppressor has done over us. Okay, but, it, but it's crazy how our people act like, oh, okay, back with public enemy, we fighting the power, but now, what happened? Why'd y'all stop that fight? Right. What did they give you to make you forget about that fight? More, more chances to go walk around in circles with big picket signs? All right? We really had nothing, but, we, but this still remains the devil that we know to be, according to the Bible, the, the enemy, the oppressor, that we know. Matter of fact, get Deuteronomy 2860 real quick. I got a quick Yep. If somebody bear that, then we'll go right back. Isaiah 36 and uh, verse 6. I'm yep. reading the NLT. Uh, it said, on Egypt, Egypt is also modern, uh, is America You can well. even call it a code name, right, for modern day America. Yeah. On Egypt, which is modern day America, if you lean on Egypt, it would be like a reed that splinters beneath your weight and pierces your hand. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, is completely unreliable. The Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, th this government in this place, we know it ain't it ain't Pawpaw up there that can't remember nothing. See now, Pawpaw up there, we know it ain't him. Okay, he ain't the one that's making the decision. He can't even read the cue card. Talk about Sleepy Joe. Yeah, Sleepy yeah. Joe. You can't even keep up. So somebody else is pushing this, and it's not the BP either. Because it was going on before he even came in office. The same agenda has been yeah. moving from president to president for it's really hundreds of years now, but you can see it's been in these latter times of our lives. You know, some of us are a little older than the others, but through from Carter, Reagan, <laughs> Bush, uh, Clinton, Bush again, Bush Jr., Obama, uh, Trump, and Papa Biden now. You can see all of this still continuing in the same direction, right along those elite that really run the country, that really run the world, the secret government, the so-called Illuminati families, the elite 13 banking families. Okay, let's, let's just put it out there, right? You can see that they're, they're pushing right toward their agenda. Okay, and nothing's changed. All right, so they're not actually running, but we, I'm talking about the uh, Pawpaw's not running it, but the rest of them, we see that what's going on. All right, that they have an agenda that's been moving forward the whole time. No matter how you like it sliced up, they're just pushing straight forward and talking the shit of that individual to distract you while they're pushing the same agendas from day one. All right? I got you got it. Uh, uh, Micah chapter two right and one. Woe to them that devise yeah. iniquity yeah. and work evil upon their beds. Uh -huh. When the morning is light, they practice get, it get, get, because uh, it's in the power of their hands. Get song real quick. Psalm, uh, yeah, it's Esau, man. 64. Esau conducting experiments, uh, experiments yeah. on you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Every day, all day, he devises up shit to destroy you. Yep. TikTok yeah. hurts Jake the most. Cause Jake don't have social time media. to wait. Right. Know, social media hurts Jake the most. Put you on a registry so they can identify you and it wastes your time from seeking the Lord. That's really what your time is being wasted away from. Okay, and TV does the same. The computers yeah. do the same. All but these see, housewives and, and silly shit that's going on. The social. Hey, I was, oh, go I was ahead. Just watching. Uh, I was watching John Wick uh, chapter two on uh, MTV at my mom's house, mm -hmm. and every time it went to the commercial, it would play the exact same yep. shit over and over and over in the commercials, yeah. trying to advertise yep. uh, 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 what, what new reality show is coming, yep. and it always shows you. It shows Jake in the same fucking light. Yep. Ghetto, the ratchet. Ghetto, ratchet, no class, yep. no etiquette, poor manners. Yep. The nigga woman, weave. Mm -hmm. she Colorful weave. Making a spectacle of herself. Yep. Niggas her being coons. Mm -hmm. Niggas being Emotional. sent out. Niggas, over a woman niggas being Emotional. effeminate. Yep. They're showing you that shit. Every, that's, the, that's the everyday image that they're running on the television, man. Yeah. But I would say that the new television is the social media. Yeah, because yeah, Because yeah. social media, I mean, t TV was the, the instrument they used to, you know, to, 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 to you could say, I don't want to say hypnotize, but program, program, yeah, pro 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 program us. Yeah. And then, because every, everyone was glued to the TV, whether it be your weekly shows, Martin, you know, yeah. all that shit. Now, it's in the palm of your hand. Yeah, so everybody's watching their own. Yeah. Thing. What's crazy is, 
you all be watching something separate, but all catch the same type of commercial. Right. right. <laughs> the same type of advertisements. You know, and you can't forward pass all of these, but I want them to make a quick point. The, the light that they, the, 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 back, the land back over to go in, the light that they show our people in is completely adverse to what the Heavenly Father wants. He wants our women covered up and chaste and quiet. He wants our men not all loud and angry and emotional. He wants us to be stable-minded and to sit back, see a situation, judge it, and then give the, the, uh, the decree on it. To use wisdom. To use wisdom. Okay, to use, to use uh, the, the, the righteousness of what should happen, to see the outcome, and don't get caught up in the middle of it, being the most emotional in it. But that's what they show and show. Nigga, you go, don't talk to me like this. And hey, so what, bro? Grow up. The scripture tell you to, uh, so like, uh, to, um, to gird up thy loins and show thyself men. That's talking about in here. The man up, stop being so damn emotional, and start thinking with your head. Oh. I was going to say, these social media and uh, these TV shows, like uh, on Hulu and Netflix, they're all uh, uh, based on adultery also, man. Adultery is promoted like it's a good thing here. And, you know, and, and especially women, they can get away with it. You know, that, that destroys people, man. You know, through music, they've been able to uh, uh, mindfuck our people into thinking that it's okay to sleep with the next man's uh, wife. Well, the judgment on that is death. You know? <laughs> Exactly, for, for the young woman to, in order for you to uh, be something, hey, all you gotta do is just uh, shake your ass, you know, make an OnlyFans, yep. and, and you'll get what you want. You'll have guys simping over you, you know, taking their money. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, it's pretty easy for these uh, women to, to uh, achieve, uh, achieve what they want in this place through wickedness, man. Yeah. You know, sin is like. It's the number one seller, you know? Yeah. It's crazy because this is what you asked for in the garden from the circle. You yeah. Know, exactly what yeah. I this is what you wanted. And, and uh, I watched it, I saw, you know, come across these videos. One of them, one guy was on, uh, what's that other podcast? It's not Fresh and Fit, it's with the white guy. Adam 22, nigga? No, 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 that's a nigga show. What's the other uh, He's on like that red pill type stuff. Is it white, is it Edomite? Is that white dude? He looks look white like Edomite or something, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know if you have that patch on his damn neck, like if he had a band aid or whatever that's going on. On his neck? Anyway, if you have women on there, like kind of, you know, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so he's on there, and a the guy was on there saying, hey, no, it might have been fresh and fit that the guy was on there, but he said, um, in the next 20, 30 years, the next generation, basically, we're going to see, or even in 100 years, we're going to see what happens to a society that allows the women to, to run it like this through feminism. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna be all old, ugly, fat, and lonely, and they're gonna take it out on, on the men. And, he, and he's like, they're already beginning to do it now. Great thing, it ain't gonna be no 20 years to rule. Right, right. exactly the he's point. You saw I ain't got no 20 years to rule, man. We yeah, yeah. done. Our, our, our nation, as Israelites, we, you know, uh, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, we wouldn't last another 20, 30 years. Yeah, he'd okay. have ran every fucking thing into the ground. Everything's finished, man. Finished. The world won't last. Yeah. If, if they, if the world, if it wasn't, you know, but if he just, if the Most High just allowed this devil to just continue on what he's doing, we wouldn't have 30 years and he's, left on earth. God, and he's like he said, the brother say he's ran everything to the ground, and he's still not finished, man. Yeah, he's still trying to run it. He's still gonna have one more goal to, to really uh, bring out who he is, man. And to tie back into what we've been talking about, is this enemy, this devil, is doing this, uh, from the central location of Babylon the Great and the other NATO Beast Eve nations. Okay, but first, let's hit that Deuteronomy and get past that and we can go right back. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Because a lot of you Jakes forget that this is vital. Vocab tried to get us to never, never use it because it's damning evidence against their argument. You can't, uh, you can't ignore this. There's nobody that should be able to ignore this scripture right here, this curse. You got it, bro. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt was a form of a code word for, for bondage and slavery. And that's what we was over there doing. We weren't over there ruling as kings and pharaohs. We were under the kings and pharaohs. You go over the ancient hieroglyphs, you can see there's one dark skinned people that look a certain type of way, and there's another dark skinned people that look a certain type of way right. that was in a slave position. Also, yeah, also, in the, like you said, uh, they had it showed the slaves on the hieroglyphs. Exactly. You show them with the whips, yeah. you know. Being oppressed by another dark people, it, yeah. but it's about the bondage and oppression. 
that we were going through and why why this comes up in this modern day time why this place is also a code name egypt as well you got it bro and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again with ships uh -huh. by the way we know we came by slave ships over here and how did the, Hus the northern kingdom the hispanics and the natives come over here by ships there was no magical beaming us over here we actually got on the boats and sailed over here there's history on this okay you got it bro now we got on the queen elizabeth too yeah and it was and it, and it was it, it was so man it was it was a we had a blast on that ship right you know we was on the titanic and we almost we, made we, it out we, we, <laughs> bondage man y'all know i'm being sarcastic because <laughs> he saw trying to rewrite the narrative and shit that you know we benefited from from that yeah, captivity. Yeah. captivity we came we were indentured indentured yeah. servants and yeah, shit we, like we that we would offer ourselves yeah for no yeah, one yeah, would the, buy the, it. The, the, the christian version <laughs> mm -hmm. we, we would come over here and enjoy yeah, ourselves like you know what i think we're gonna have some opportunities over here hey mm -hmm. y'all don't mind if y'all you know if we if we sell ourselves to y'all so y'all can rule over us and and, 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 and fucking whip our backs Teach and, 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 and split our families and yeah. rape our women right like we just volunteered for that. We we signed up for that. Yeah. And that whole process was very beneficial. As if that didn't leave multi-generational residuals of, of negative impact on our people. Devil telling you all, yeah, it's good that y'all went through that. Y'all yeah. learned some skills out there. Man. Yeah. This, this is, is how we were. This is how we were up on that boat. This is how we was on them boats. It was not party time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> lift, lift, lift it up, lift it up. Yeah, it was not party yeah. time. Yeah. You leave it up to them. We was on there having job fairs and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, martinis and <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sipping some yayan, discussing yeah. mm -hmm. job we opportunities. Shit. Shit. Yeah, shooting dice. <laughs> Casino games and yeah. shit. You know, living it up like it was soul playing out there, but yeah, like cruise ship. Yeah. Yeah. Like cruise ship. Cruise this was ship. not a cruise ship. But they they want to bury that. You know, they want to bury this this history. Yeah. This this is not taught in schools. Why why are the, why isn't this taught in schools? Yeah, it's out of the book now. They, but they teach. They'll, they'll never let us forget. Uh, yep. You know, the hoax. Yeah. They'll never let yeah. us forget that. Or 9/11. Or, or the Civil War, the Revolutionary War, yeah, yeah. how they fled e yeah. England and yeah. seeking, up, you know. In the, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead, bro. No, I was saying in the school that in the schools now they just kind of glaze over yeah. the slavery times, yeah. and you know each year that a new um, comes edition out. comes out, they exactly. they take it's more and more smaller. out yeah. of the the slavery, <laughs> slavery, the captivity, how America got to where it, where it was. That's why we have to teach our children yeah. these things, starting off with the book. Yeah. But that history comes from the book, so it's go hand in hand, but, you know. Well, I was once talking to a Judai, what I perceive to be a Judai, right? She didn't know that <laughs> Jake came here and <laughs> slave ship, bro. Slave ship, bro. She didn't Don't know that. Don't know what I was talking yeah. about. Like, how would you know? What? But but it's crazy. How would you know? Yeah. They don't ever talk about the internet. You, you don't have to, like, it's not a time in class in fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth grade where you actually go over this yeah. in the history class. That's what Esau wants. That's Esau what would Esau would give that bitch a, a goddamn extra stimulus check yep. for not knowing the history. And if it was, like, a historical time, people would come out and move. They could go on and see it. No. They just killed. Hey, they, they boycotted Birth of a Nation. Yeah. Bro, to go see Tyler Perry. To go see Dia yeah. yeah. Halloween. And look, it didn't just happen to the to the to the to the southern kingdom, the so-called Negroes. It happened to the natives and the Hispanics as well. This is real for all of our people. Yeah, kind of. hey, and one book that you know a lot of brothers are going to, uh, it's called uh, Another Slave, the Other Slave. It's like uh, Andres Resendez. It really keys in into the captivity and the, you know the horrific situations that Esau did mm. into the northern kingdom. Right? It's another book called the um, I want to say it's the Indian Slave Trade. I think I got it. So the, the title itself tells you yeah. what the fuck was going on. Okay, how did the, the story how, of Pocahontas? Was that, and how was that getting from one side of the world to the other? Mm -hmm. yeah, you got idiots talking about oh, no, no slave ships. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? I got a quick break. Yep. Uh, Deuteronomy 20, uh, 32 and 7. Yep. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Mm -hmm. Ask thy father and he will show thee. Yep. Thy elders and they will tell thee. So a lot of times there's a disconnect and they just killed off a lot of our elderly that have a lot of the, the mem memories of the, of, the, of the ancient histories 
of what our people was going yeah. through. Yeah, and, and knew the traditions. Knew the our, traditions our, our, you know, some of our original